بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد رسول الله I begin with the name of Allah. All praise belongs to Allah. And may peace and blessings be upon the Prophet Muhammad, for he is the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Fa'alan. Fa'alan. This refers to a temporary mood or condition, specifically for people. Notice the fa letter takes the fatha, the ayn letter takes a sukun, the lam takes a fatha, followed by an alif, which makes it a long a, and then it ends with a nun. So, for example, farhan. Farhan means happy, joyful. The opposite of that, Ghadban. Ghadban means angry, mad. So notice, Alif Noon, Alif Noon. Because when a person is in this state, it's a temporary mood or condition, but it's often amplified when you're really happy, when you're really angry. Here we have Atshan. Atshan means thirsty. Na'asan, na'asan means sleepy, tired. Harran means hot. It used to mean thirsty in classical Arabic, but over time people started using it to mean hot. Because usually when you're thirsty, you're hot as well. Imagine if you're in the middle of a desert. So nowadays people use it to mean hot, but if you read some classical Arabic, some poetry, don't be confused if it means thirsty, because that's what it used to mean over a thousand years ago. And here, Bardan. Bardan is interesting because this is not a classical Arabic word. But because of Harran, hot, the modern Arabs, they just said, well, if we have the word hot, we might as well have the word cold. Bardan. It means cold. You won't see this in classical Arabic poetry and literature, but you hear it a lot nowadays. People say, Ana Bardan. I'm cold. So we have Farhan, Qadban, Atshan, Na'asan, Harran, Bardan. And just to call out, this is specifically for people. People are Farhan, or Ghadban, or Atshan. You don't use these words for objects. You wouldn't say, for example, that this room is Bardan, this room is cold. You wouldn't say that. You would say something like Barid on the Fa'il pattern. Bardan, because it has that Aleph and the Noon. Harran, because of the Aleph and the Noon as well. All of these words here, they only refer to people. Now, if you want to change this to the feminine, you say fa'ala, fa'ala. So farhan becomes farha. Qadban becomes qadba. Atshan becomes atsha. Na'asan becomes na'asa. Harran becomes harra. And bardan does not become anything. The classical Arabs didn't use this word, so there's no better than form for the feminine. So that's classical. In modern Arabic, they don't use this fa'ala pattern. Instead, they say fa'alana, fa'alana, which is simply fa'alan with a tamal buta at the end. Much simpler. So fa'alana is for modern Arabic. You would say farhan for a man, farhana for a female. Happy, happy. Qadban, which means angry, becomes Qadbana. Atshan, thirsty, becomes Atshana. Na'asan, tired, sleepy, becomes Na'asana. Harran, hot, becomes Harrana. And here we have Baradan, that modern word, becomes Baradana, cold. So that's that. Fa'alan, fa'ala, if it's classical. Fa'alana, if it's modern standard Arabic. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ala sahabihi wa ala atba'ihi wa ala man walahu hatta yamal qiyamati wa salam tasliman kathira.